Hi, I'm Steve Kennedy, and this is Music and Message. This is called Way to Go. May you be gracious to us and bless us and make your face to shine, shine on us so the ways may be known on the earth and your salvation among all the nations. May the people praise you, God. May all the people praise you. May the nations be glad and sing for joy. Sing for joy for you, rule the people with equity and love. And guide us in the right way to go. Bless the still so all, all the ends of the earth will honor your will and fear you. May the people praise you, God. May all the people praise you. May the nations be glad, sing for joy, sing. With equity and love, and guide us in the right way to go. It's your mercy, Lord, that brings us back to you. Oh, we love you, Lord, for all that you do, that you do such a sacrifice to bring us life. Because you love the soul, why you're mindful of us, maybe someday we will know, someday we'll know. Someday we'll know. Someday With equity and love And guide us in the right way to go And guide us in the right way to go
So that's Psalm 67. That's right out of the Psalm of David that he that he wrote for to be saying as a song. Um, I just took it and put it down to a guitar riff. Um, God be merciful unto us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us that thy way may be known upon the earth, that thy, thy saving health among all nations. Now that is really something that hit me when I read this, is that with all this time, the pandemic, when it's just so much illness and so much worry and, and, and everything, every health problem has been amplified and all the death. And it, so thy saving health among all the nations, let the people praise thee. Oh God, let all the people praise thee. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy. For thou shalt judge the people righteously and govern the nations upon the earth. Let the people praise thee. Oh God, let all the people praise thee. Then shall the earth yield her increase. And God, even oh our God, shall bless us. God shall bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. The author here, David, is asking for God to make his face shine upon the people, and his ways will be known upon the earth. If God shines his light upon us, his presence will be there with us where he longs to, he longs to meet with us, guide us, and as believers shows the right way to go. We draw close to God and he, and he draws close to us. Lamentations 3, 21, 23 was written in a time of captivity, right in the middle of it for, for the nation of Israel. And the author writes in the middle of it, yet this I call to mind and therefore I have hope. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed. For his compassions, they never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. And in the light of this new morning or new day, he is looking to make us a new creation and to give us li life and life more abundantly. And he is faithful in all that he does. What will lead us to change or to stop going in the wrong direction? Well, the goodness and, and mercy of God leads us to change our lives. Come here. Oh, really? Why don't you come here? And why don't you come over here and say hi? What will lead us to change and, and lead, us to, lead us to change our lives? Got Ezra right here. Like, oh, say I'll try to get the ghost. Say oh. Yeah. <laughs> with my buddy. He usually has a guitar out here singing with him. Yeah, the big ghost. <laughs> All right, Romans 2 4. What would lead us to change? What would what, what stop us from going in the wrong direction? Well, the, well, the, the mercy, it's the mercy and goodness of God that leads us to change yeah, our lives. Yeah, I read the cars. Or, dis, or it says in Romans yeah. 2, 4, or despisest thou the riches of his goodness and forbearance and long suffering, yeah, yeah. knowing, not knowing that the goodness of God leadeth, leadeth thee to repentance. So it's not the judgment of God that leads, yeah. leads us to repentance. It's the goodness and, 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 and long suffering and forbearance of God that leads us to repentance. Sin dies in the light. Doing the wrong thing dies in the light. So how can we be healed? Well, in James it says, confess your sins one to another so that you may be healed. And hey, I'm in the healing nowadays, especially right now in mercy. Um, in Proverbs 28, 13, it says, whoever conceals their sins does not prosper, but the one who confesses and renounces them yeah, find, yeah. finds mercy. Yeah. When he confesses them and renounces them, finds, finds mercy. God is merciful to show up. And he may not, it may not feel like it when he shows up in our lives. But it's out of love and mercy that he does show up. 
And it's a wonder why the God of the universe that could hold on an ocean in his hand even considers us, but he loves us and he wants the best thing for us. What is man that they are mindful of him? And son of man that thou visitest him. Psalm 8, 4. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever, you can put your name here, Who's ever put your name right there? That means you. Whoever believes on him shall not perish, but have eternal life. So we reach out and accept Jesus who died for our sins as our personal savior, our higher power that, that he's the only one that did this life right. People hear that and they go, I've heard this and it can't be that easy. Uh, it, it, you just reach out and you, you take words and, and you just talk to them and talk to them and just accept them as your savior. Jesus, uh, please be my savior. I know I, I know I, I have sinned and, and, and here's the deal. It is that easy. He comes into your life and then you have his presence with you. He comes in to, in you to live with you and, and through you from then on. And it doesn't make sense to people who don't believe, but the thing is when you really do it, then it makes sense because it happens. Um, there's truth, and this, is th this I found to be the truth. Further I've gotten in life, and I realized after I did this when I was a child, and then I stuck with this, this, this salvation faith in Christ, and that story of a, of a Savior in the Son of God, Holy Son of God, that gave his life for me, it made more and more sense because then we join the cause. We join in the cause and then we join in, yes, we deny ourselves, pick up our cross and, and follow and we'll have to, and it's, it'll be difficult, but there'll be reward because we're, we're paying everything forward in a heavenly inheritance and that, and we come back with Christ. We come back with Christ and, and, um, we're promised heaven. We're promised eternity. It's settled. We made our peace with God. So I highly recommend accepting Christ as your personal Savior. That is the issue. A relationship. There's so much fear right now. Well, you get that matter settled and the fear, well, it's settled. loved you. He loves us. He died for us. He's going to give it eternal hope and life. And he, he rose from the grave and defeated death. And through him, we may have victory over death too. Because he lives, we will live. Do you have a relationship with Christ? That's the issue. You just reach out and accept that gift of salvation. It's easier than you think. You jump right in the hoop with him and actually he takes over. And you, and you think, oh, I'm going to lose my life. No, you'll find your life. And you'll know after you get there, you'll find it. You'll find family. Unbelievable. Actually unbelievable. He saves us and he's confident. Be confident. He'll never leave you. He'll never leave you or forsake you. Philippians 1, 6. Being confident this very thing, that he which have begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. He will finish what he started in you for his glory and for your benefit, giving you a heavenly family, giving you eternity as he then lives in you and through you. It's Galatians 2.20, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Now that's it, who loved me and gave himself for me. As a father figure, the further I've gotten in life, having 10 kids, I realize this now. I realize this now. We join into the, we join into, I want a loving God. He's the only one that did it right now. He's a, he, he is God. But this is the way, this is the way to go. And Psalms 35, nine. My soul shall be joyful in the Lord and shall rejoice in the salvation. Why? The joy of the Lord is my strength. 
see, all the people will see this and see God, see how God blesses his people with joy and peace. And however he wants to bless us too. But it's joy and peace. And, he, and, it, and it, it'll make the people say, man, this works. And I want that. And respect or honor God, as it says in, in the last line of, of Psalm 67. And going on, let the field be joyful and all that is therein. Then shall all the trees of the woods rejoice. Psalms 96, 12. Let the floods clap their hands. Let the hills be joyful together. Psalms 98, 8. Psalms 105, 43. And he brought forth his people with joy and his chosen with gladness. And Romans 14, 17 just pins it down. For the kingdom of God is not meat or drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Righteousness, peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. It's a gift. He just gets us through the most difficult times in our lives. And we make disciples, by the way. That's what this is about here. You spread the good news of Jesus and his great salvation and healing message. The person that wins souls is wise, setting up an inheritance. Jesus is the way, and this is the way to go. So my prayer and blessing I give to you is this. God have mercy on us and heal us. And heal our land and all this division and illness. Have mercy on us and give us peace and joy and keep us from evil and enlarge our spiritual borders again have mercy on us heal us in our land and heal our divisions and our illnesses and um, just asking for mercy here give us peace and joy keep us from evil Lord bless you keep you Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. This has been Steve Kennedy and Music and Message. The song's been way to go. Psalm 67. May the people praise you, God. May all the people praise you. May the nations be glad and sing for joy sing for joy for you rule the people with equity and love and guide us in the right way to go and guide us in the right way to go